guys, it's Ben here from Harness. Um, I'm very happy to say that we finally got the Outlook plugin working. Um, and even though it's not quite yet in the Microsoft store, that's going to take two or three weeks until it is. So to shortcut that and to prevent um, time being wasted, we've got a URL that you can basically download manually now. And I'm just going to show you how to do that. So what this entails is clicking onto the Microsoft store up in the top right hand corner of your Outlook. Click here to add a custom add-in. Make sure you add from URL, not from file, because there's nothing saved on your computer. You're going to take the URL, which is in the email that I've just sent you below this video, copy it, and then paste it directly into here, dead simple. Press OK. Press Install. Should take a few seconds. Here it is. We can then click out of that once that's installed, and you'll find it in the top right-hand corner of your screen here, Send CV to Harness. Now make sure that you're on your Home tab, because if you're on any other tab, it won't appear. So make sure you're on your home tab, click send CV and the harness plugin should open within a couple of seconds. Now it's going to ask you to log in. I'm already logged in here, but make sure that you're obviously an approved member of harness before you try and log in. Otherwise, no emails or passwords will work. Click add a new candidate and you're brought to this screen. Now you can see that we've split data into two fields. We've got mandatory data here which is the minimum amount of data that we need from you in order to make sure that they're found or pushed to the right hiring company. And we've got optional data here, which is a load of stuff which is mostly nice to have, technical skills, industry experiences, any about details you might want to write in to just personalize that application a little bit more. And of course, education and university background. For example, if they've got a first class degree from Oxford, you might want to shout about that. So simply enter it in and, and away you go. The only one thing we do need in the optional field is the email, but that should come through from passing the CV, which is what I'll show you how to do now. So let's just go ahead and find a CV. Um, let's find Charmaine. Now the passing, um, we're working on making quicker and quicker all the time, but for the time being, it's probably gonna take you about five to 10 seconds, but hopefully it is taking out all of the necessary data to prevent you from having to enter separate fields like telephone number, email address, location, all of that kind of stuff. So when Charmaine's done, we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna enter her job title. Data analyst looking for work in London. Most of you guys will be typing in London or Bristol. If you're typing in London or Bristol, make sure it is London or Bristol, not any other cities, because we need to make sure they're found. Um, salary required, let's say she's looking for £50,000, and she's looking for a salary, not a day rate. In optional, if we come into here, you can see we've already picked up the email address. Uh, we've already picked up the telephone number. We've also picked up our technical skills here. And actually, we've also found a little bit more detail about the candidate, which is basically going to be stripped from our profile. Again, if she's got a special academic background, you might want to add that. So once that's all done, you're simply hitting submit. And what that means is that hopefully you can share your candidates with Harness platform within about 30 seconds each. So when that is submitted, don't forget the candidate is then being invited to Harness. So the next time you speak to them or previously when you have spoken to them, make sure they then approve that representation for their application to go live. If you've got any other questions about how it works or suggestions about how it might be better um, or easier for you guys to use, as ever, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, but in the meantime, happy hunting. Cheers.